The court case between Depp and Amber Heard is raging on strongly, and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end. Not just because of how the case has gotten so messy, but because many people are starting to stand up for Johnny and blasting Amber Heard at the same time. Throughout the trial slash trials, Amber Heard has claimed that Depp has been a B to her, but a lot of other people have stood up and said that Johnny isn't the type to do that. And some of the voices saying this have been pretty surprising. Allow us to break it all down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor. Make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 8. Javier Bardem Javier Bardem was one of many people who spoke out on how Depp was nothing short of a great man and a pleasure to work with while they were together on set and beyond. On top of that, I've had the gift of working with him twice and have experienced his respectful attitude towards every single member of the crew alongside his unique and hilarious sense of humor. I stand by Johnny because I have always seen and felt a true caring and loving man in him, an extraordinary and unique artist who has listened to anyone who needed his help. That last line might actually be the key one as it shows a side of Depp's character. But at the same time, he makes a point, my character. And we go with him a little bit, like, okay, I understand what he went through, and yeah, that makes sense. Because it shows that Depp was willing to help and not to hurt, which is something many have said. And just to be clear, not as many have said that about Amber Heard very telling. Of course, if you're looking for someone to blast both of these two for what's going on with their overdrawn trial, we know someone who can give you that. Number 7. Sharon Osbourne Um, you know, my friends and I dressed up as pirates to go see the Pirates of the Caribbean. Right? I mean, it was just, yeah, we love. Um, I think, though, that Johnny needs to get some help. Sharon Osbourne took some time on the show The Talk to discuss the relationship and what was going on with the court case and didn't defend Depp or her but noted, it takes two to tango. She noted that it was both of their faults that this happened and that Heard and Depp were both in a vulnerable relationship. How you take that is up to you, but it is a blunt yet somewhat accurate way of looking at things. Because at first, this case was very much a cut and dry situation. One that had Depp as the bad guy and Heard as the victim. It takes two to tango and I mm -hmm. think that they had a very vulnerable relationship. I think they're both as bad as each other. But as things like a major audio recording released that showed that Amber was indeed a B and suddenly everything was turned on its head and this is what Osborne was talking about. Both sides were complicit in one form or another, so both are to blame. And should you find that a hard thing to swallow, while Johnny may not have been the a beer, he allowed Amber to get away with hurting him for months and then allowing her to take the reins, if you will, in regards to the divorce narrative for a while. She gave him as good as she got. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just like a little mouse in the corner being battered. She gave him back. Something that has cost him time, money, and a few roles because she's used the leeway given to make him the clear evil in this case and has gotten some definitive victories as a result. Even with that though, there are many still willing to stand up for Depp. Number 6. Paul Bettany and Laura Holden Now let's talk about a celeb who's very much in the public eye right now due to the show WandaVision, Paul Bettany. He and Depp have worked together on multiple films, and Bettany had nothing but praise for Depp on Twitter. And I think that they were both drinking. I don't know about what they were using. I, I have no idea who was doing what, but I know that they were both drinking. Where he noted he's known Depp for years and through several relationships. He's the sweetest, kindest, gentlest man that I've ever known, just saying. He went on to note, all I'm saying, domestic violence is a serious allegation. He added, trial by Twitter is unhelpful. Let the facts come out before rushing to judgment. This may sound like a naive thing to say, but he's actually being very wise about it. In fact, he wasn't the only one to mimic that kind of thought pattern. Walking Dead star Lori Holden echoed Bettany's statements when she expressed her opinions on the matter. I, for one, am going to see Depp's new movie, she tweeted referencing his latest film, Alice Through the Looking Glass, which was about to hit theaters in 2016 when this tweet was made. His personal life is just that, personal. No one knows the real truth, so just zip it. She too went on. To be clear, I am just saying don't jump to conclusions. She continued, even a pick might not be telling the whole story. 
That was no doubt a reference to the many pictures that Amber Heard gave to the courts to prove that Depp AB'd her, even though lots of her other evidence hasn't held up. Number 5. Penelope Cruz Penelope Cruz is a woman who has been a friend of Depp for some time and has made multiple movies with him. She was brought to the trial to testify on Depp's behalf and speak of his character. The documents via the blast said in part, Many years have passed and I have not only made three movies with him, but I also count on him as a great friend. I've always been impressed by his kindness, his brilliant mind, his talent, and his peculiar sense of humor. I spoke no English. I only knew how to say two things, two sentences. One was, how are you? The other one was, I want to work with Johnny Depp. During six months of my first pregnancy, I spent every single day with him while we shot Pirates of the Caribbean. My husband and I will never forget the sweetness, protection, and kindness he treated me with during every single step of that process. Her testimony does carry weight because the allegations against Depp state that he was a B all the time. And yet, as Cruz noted, that couldn't be further from the truth. Number 4. Winona Ryder Winona Ryder dated Johnny in the 90s, and their relationship was very public. And because of her experiences with Johnny, she felt compelled to speak out against what Amber Heard said. From my experience, which was so wildly different, I was absolutely shocked, confused, and upset when I heard the accusations against him. The idea that he is an incredibly violent person is the farthest thing from the Johnny I knew and loved. This morning, Winona Ryder's calling her old friend and one-time fiance, Johnny Depp, a really good man. Ryder coming to her ex's defense as Depp is suing the publisher of The Sun. I cannot wrap my head around these accusations. Winona Ryder went on to say that Depp was never, never violent or a B towards her or towards anybody I have seen. She also said that she'd always felt so very, very safe with him. One person saying Johnny was a nice guy to me doesn't hold water in a world where you can act one way to one person and another to another. But when you add in two ladies who had different relationships with a person and paint the same picture. Ryder says she cannot wrap her head around the allegations, adding, I do not want to call anyone a liar, but from my experience of Johnny, it is impossible to believe that such horrific allegations are true. That's something else entirely. Number three, David Yates. David Yates is the director of the Fantastic Beast films that Depp co-stars in as Grindelwald. When he was initially cast for the part, there was some backlash. But then Yates eventually stepped forward and said that the accusations do not match the man he's been working on set with. Fast forward to now, and Depp has stepped down at Warner Brothers' is urging, though Amber Heard is still employed by them and has been recast. We're not sure how David Yates feels about that, but we can guess he wasn't happy, though he likely wouldn't want to speak out against his employers. Number 2. Vanessa Paradis Vanessa Paradis, the ex-wife to Depp and the woman who gave birth to his two children, was also at the trial to defend her former flame. Her words were very telling. I've known JD for more than 25 years. Through all these years, I've known Johnny to be a kind, attentive, generous, and nonviolent person and father. Paradis. Il m'a fait de l'effet dans le noir, j'ai même pas vu sa tête. <laughs> Et ben en plus, c'est que la tête qu'il a. Euh, ouais, non, si c'est vrai. C'est vrai. Euh, c'était. Euh, c'était. C'était. This also acknowledged her awareness of the allegations which Amber Heard has publicly accused Johnny of for more than four years now, but insisted that those accusations were inconsistent with the true Johnny I have known. You could argue that her words mean the most given that she was with Johnny the longest in terms of a relationship. Their children have also defended him on social media as well, so that means something. Number 1. Joe Rogan Admittedly, not the best person to have your back because Joe Rogan does cite some controversial things both on his podcast and on other platforms. But with the Depp case, he was actually one of the first people to call out in 2016 that Amber Heard was not only lying, but was using Johnny to get more fame and also his money. He cited a dear friend of his who knew Johnny very well. And when Amber Heard cried AB, said friend noted to Rogan that she had to be lying. Sure. Some gigantic thing with special effects and the studio is dumping hundreds of millions of dollars into it. They want a return on their money. I saw people discussing that. I think Johnny Depp was just... Enough multiple pieces of evidence point to Amber Heard being the A-beer, which means that love him or hate him, Joe Rogan called it. And there you have it, everyone, a look at the situation with Depp and Amber Heard and how certain people have called her out over the years of the trial to say that her views on Depp are clearly flawed. Which of these celebs do you put the most credit in when it comes to defending Depp? Do you think that if more people stand up for him, things will finally be swayed his way? Or is he in for a long and murky fight to the end?
Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.